Starting in 3, 2, 1, engage. Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you my jukebox software on my arcade machine. A lot of you have seem to have been interested in it. Um, I use a program called Jukade. Now Jukade is not a commercially available product. It was something I actually wrote myself. You see, when I was in the Philippines, I wasn't able to work, so I used to dabble at programming. Jukade was written in Visual Basic 6, very old I know but it does seem to do what I want it to do um, and it allows me to play up to three types of media you've got separate menus for audio or CDs a separate menu for music videos and a third if you so require it to play other things I had it set up for karaoke and radio shows that happen to be my favorite unlike other software available GK only needs three buttons and a joystick. It can be put on free play or it can be put on to coin. Um, so you don't need a touch screen, you don't need extra buttons. Now the, feet, the one I'm running at the moment uses six buttons if you require it. And the other buttons you'll see are to do with zoom and to change the, the media selection. So let's go into it. Now when you do when you load Jukade, you can have it to have it set up to choose a random skin of the ones provided or a particular skin. As you can see this time it's loaded up the the main looking skin. Now if we exit and go in again, see if it chooses a different skin. Now this time it's the disco one. Let's try again, see if it chooses another one. I think I've got three or four different skins set up. They're all random. Yeah, this is an anime one. Okay, let me show you around the screen. There's a demonstration video running there. That also shows the last tracks played. Also allows you to um, put information like what new videos you've got, what new um, music you've got. Here you've got your selection screen. At the moment this is set to audio. So these are covers of the, the uh, CDs. Here it tells you what's playing, if anything, what's next. You can go to the playlist to see what's coming up. You can skip to the next song if you don't like the one that's playing. You can set the volume. And at the moment it's saying there's no credits and I've got it set up for two um, different media types, video and music. So let, let me just navigate this around. So as you can see at the moment a VC is, is highlighted and just using the joystick I can move left and right. Now if I choose next then, then click the select button it will go on to the next page. There's also a previous option so I can go back and also if you look at the top I can go alphabetical order so uh, currently on, on A if I go backwards it will go to Z the first Z it finds go forward go to the first A then to the B then to the C okay so that's with the first button the second button brings up a search and by uh, using your joystick you can enter a word. So let's look at everything that begins with G. How we could choose another letter. So we can say, look for everything that begins with an album that begins with G, A. And we can either count, we can add another letter. We can close this, or we can do the search. Third button does the searches. And there's nothing that begins with G, A, so the, the search fails. Okay. As you see here, this, this icon tells you what group. Um, that means what your joystick will control. So if I hit the third button, we are now on 
this group here so I can now select the playlist if I move the joystick right I can change the volume up and down yeah I can move it okay and if I do the next song it would go to the next song press it again I can change the music to video and now we've got all the videos now if there was a video playing here that we someone had selected it we could move down to the next to this and actually go and zoom into the video so let's let's just put some coins in you can see at the moment i've got it set up to two tracks per coin and let's go and choose a video now obviously due to copyright reasons i may get a strike on this so i'll just play it quickly let's play something uh fun novelty songs i know it's something from say family guy or something let's have a look uh, the, these are the videos available underneath that that, um, that the fun novelty song thing if you're on the CDs this will be the album tracks and like, as with the other one, with the other screen I can go up and down and choose which ones I want uh, Nothing that I like, so I can exit. Let's try and find something else. I want something that's not going to give me a copyright strike. Uh, oh, maybe. Mini Money. I'll put a crazy one on. Right, so button two takes us back to the main screen. Now, this is, I'll show you zooming into the screen using this group. So group changes that one, another button, that one, another button, that one. Now if I hit select, it now goes full screen. We have more options now, we can zoom in more and see it comes for even more full screen. I can come back out or if I had a selection of videos lined up, I could go to the next one. Now if I hit next now, it'll just finish this video take us back there because nothing was selected now as you see I've made use of th up to three other buttons the zoom button does exactly the same as moving to the group there and zoom zoom and the media just swaps from in this case music to video so let's choose let's choose a song and I'll show you what what happens when you play an audio track Again, I've got to be careful because of copyright. Let's try this Korean. So this time, it chooses a default media player. What your Windows media player is set up as. Now to change that, you go into your Windows media player and choose what visualization you want. And also, you see on this, you just get some shadow dancing ladies. They're not actually dancing in time to the music, it's just a video that plays. But as you can see, it's really easy to use. Three buttons, men and men, plus a joystick. Or if you want a bit more functionality, six buttons. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Let me exit this. So okay, there you go. That's Ducade. Now, if you're interested in getting a copy, I can let you have a copy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the source code anymore because I've since expanded the software into a two-screen jukebox setup. I've still got to make the cabinet for that. But if you want to have a go at this, just drop me a comment below and uh, with your email address and I'll, I'll zip the files up let you have a play with it but you need visual basic 6 runtime for it to run okay guys hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and join me again on my next video you all take care now hey guys why don't you show me your arcade machine show me what beauties you've made okay guys bye